Ladies and gentlemen, I am the War Boss Squee. Welcome to episode 11 of our classic Fallout 1 playthrough. Now, last episode I ran into a bit of a crash issue, but thankfully I've been spacing out the length of my recording, so I didn't lose too much. Uh, we came over here to the casino, and we spoke to Kane, got a job to go assassinate somebody that we're not a big fan of. But, and we're still going to do that. We are still going to talk to Kane, but first, we need to do something very important. We need to go back to the Gunrunners because we need some combat armor. And we need some combat armor because we're actually, before we even get back into the whole let's murder people for hire, turn them into the sheriff sort of situation, we're going to be going to Necropolis. So we need to do two things. Come on, get your happy little butt up there. There's the police officers... I could have sworn there was another merchant over here that I could buy some Radex from. Uh, welcome to my humble house. What can I do for you? Uh, where can I find some ammo and weapons around here? For exotic weapons, there's a guy in Old Town. Okay. Well... We may have to go back to the next section because I might have forgotten something. Uh, thing is, Necropolis is a city of ghouls. Actually, I need to go to the general store. So, let's, here we go. To buy something. Let's see, where is the Radex? Don't need a Geiger counter because we know what's, what's going to be happening there. Psycho, a super stim pack, great way to kill somebody. Just go into stealth, hit him up with that super stim pack, and when it wears off, the shock to their system just absolutely KOs them. Uh, he doesn't have any. Son of a bitch. Well, that's disappointing. I guess we'll just have to do without. But first, the gun runners, yes. Well, that was kind of a little bit of a waste of time. I'm going to go to the Gunrunners, we're going to get some combat armor. Unfortunately, we're going to have to fight our way through the Death Claws on the way back out of the Gunrunner territory. Because I can't uh, use the map to quick zoom from that point. I think there's somebody here I can talk to as well. Luke. Let's start with Luke. How can I be of service? Uh, where are these cartoons? I know I've talked to him before. Uh, job bulletin boards around the hub. I don't remember seeing any of those. The caravan driver, caravan driver. I know I spoke to one of these folks last time, and I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was Matt. Alright, it's the same thing. Never mind. Ah, I might be misremembering. Well, that's okay though, because we are going to go over to the gun runners, like I said. Uh, and this is going to serve a couple of purposes. And we have a location for the Brotherhood now. Let's see. Now the thing is, is that even if we manage to kill the Death Claws that are uh, outside the Gunrunner territory, without going underground and taking on the Matriarch and destroying all the eggs, we're not going to get very far. And they're just going to keep respawning. Unfortunately, we're not in a position where we can kill the Matriarch because she will rip us a new one. She is literally a death claw on steroids, PCP, a good spanking of, of uh, you know, LSD and all kinds of nastiness. I know because I tried it before we crashed and then I promptly got wiped out. So... What we do want is some combat armor. 
uh, because combat armor is pretty much best you can get without going into powered armor and we're not in a position yet where we can make that happen yeah, right away I might I might just want to be using that let's see here oh, we need to keep that magnum ammo can go away the magnum can go away and so from that and this pistol is pretty much useless to us now. I'm trying to think what else we got here. We've got 5mm ammo that can go. Really regret getting the spear or even keeping it for this long. All that uh, lovely 9mm or 10mm ammo, I should say. Don't need that. That's not going to prove to be any use more useful for us. Okay, so that leaves us with a difference of roughly 3,300 caps. That is pretty pretty close to right so we need to crank it up by say 240 caps I think should do it see if my math skills are improved at all oh we are exactly 26 off that's okay there we go So we got rid of our excess equipment that was just weighing us down, and we now have some good combat armor. Now combat armor is going to serve a variety of purposes. One, it raises up our armor class, which is the percentage-based system that uh, means that we might get hit by an attack. And it's pretty defensive, which means that we're less likely to be injured even if we are attacked. Now, let's just get rid of this metal armor because even if I gave to Ian, he wouldn't wear it. Which is somewhat disappointing, but it's okay. The upside is that you can have more than one follower. I just haven't had the option to because I kind of got banned from Junk Town. And that's where I could have picked up somebody else. I'm just going to have to live with that, I'm afraid. Minigun would be friggin' amazing, but it's also really expensive. I could buy it if I wanted to blow through the rest of my caps, but there's no real point to it. It's pretty highly unlikely that he's going to have anything to really interest me. But, let's try. Oh, he's got a bazooka. Rocket launcher. Always nice. see junk well I will just have to take your caps so we need to do that and 101 all right Real quick, let's see how much money we have. Four thousand caps, which will be useful. We have our uh, two, two, three pistol all ready to go. We have a stim pack in our other slot. I think this is about as close to ready as we can get to get out of this bloody area. Because, like I said, the only way out is through Deathclaw territory, and Mama Deathclaw is not to be fucked with. Now, see, where are the Death Claws? They're all three of them are down there. Just a little bit out of range.
Still a little bit out of range. Good lord. There we go. Now we want to see if we can just pull one towards us. Oh, we alerted the pack. That's not good. Right, aim for the eyes. Coin flip. Missed. Ian actually knocked it down with a critical hit for 20. I'm actually rather impressed. Go Ian. I didn't think you had it in you. 84% chance to hit those eyes. 15 points of damage. Keep it moving. All right, 94% chance. Hit a different Death Claw, but still hit him for 22. That knocked me down and hurt rather badly. Ninety-five percent chance to hit the eyes, and these are the weakness on these little buggers. The good news is that they are, while they are throwing a lot of attacks at me, they're not hitting with a lot of them, and there are a few that hit that just didn't hurt. So we might be able to pull this off. It is kind of questionable, though. Alrighty. Of course, it's not going to help if they keep knocking me down. Alright, I think I've officially had enough of this crap. Come on! Armor, do your thing. Awesome. Well, we were certainly doing more damage to the Death Claws, but not enough to really justify staying and getting walled by those guys. The funny thing is, is that. Uh, when I came through here before the crash, I actually managed to kill the first Death Claw in two shots with two critical hits to the eyes that literally opened it up like a can of spam. Unfortunately, not going to be the case this time. It's okay, though, because we are free. So, we're going to try to heal ourselves up a little bit here with some first aid. See, what do we got? Healed four points, got 24 experience, so it's not bad. But we're going to try to do as much as we can with first aid to get that yummy, yummy experience before we just rest for the day. All right, got five hit points back there. There is a cap to how often you can use first aid and um, the doctor skill on yourself. I don't know what it is per se, but uh, it's fairly high. I think you can do it like five or six times. Yeah, right there, the strain might kill you. So let's try Doctor instead. Let's play Doctor. Failed to do any healing, but I can still try it again. Killed six hit points, got 50 experience for that. And this is actually a really, really good way to just kind of grind up a little bit of experience. There are seven hit points, got 50, another 50 experience there, and this is probably going to be the last time we can do it. Failed to do any healing, but can I try again? I can. 
Got four more hit points back for another 50 experience, and this has got to be the last time. You've taxed your ability with that skill. Wait a while. Okay, so that was about what I expected. So, we wait until we're healed. It's not going to take nearly as long now because we gained back about half of our hit points just by grinding up our skills a bit, which, again, gave us some experience. So right now, we are sitting at... We need 5,475 experience to hit the next level for level 7. Which is good, 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 good. And there's our exit. Fortunately, we're not going to be a whole lot of help to these people, but given time, I'm sure they'll forgive us. So first we visit the Necropolis, and then we go to visit the Brotherhood. Now, I'd actually been to the Necropolis previously and took off because I didn't want to deal with the rampaging feral ghouls, but that's not exactly the problem we're going to have anymore, because it is now February, which means the ghouls in general have been dealt with. Unfortunately, what has taken their place is much, much less friendly. And we can't rest here either, so I can't wait until daytime. Is that right there, ladies and gentlemen? That is junk. But around that junk is a super mutant. Right, we need to spend a little bit of time. There we go. There we go. Oh, something wanted to say, jump out and say hello? Junk and rocks. That's awe inspiring. I am so glad that we had the opportunity to stop for junk and rocks. Well, let's see here. Is there anything in the boxes? Anything in the junk? Nope. Nothing of use whatsoever. Alright, so it is currently... Alright, awesome. This should put us in there right about the afternoon. At least late evening. Okay, awesome. Much better. So, pools of blood. Yeah, that's not bad at all, is it? Now, there's still some ghouls up here. And here I thought that they'd all been dealt with. Well, let's go say hello. Excuse me, gentlemen. Do you wish to talk, or do you wish to fight? Now, well, something tells me these are not the friendly ghouls. But they're leaving us alone, so... Oh! He noticed me. That is very, very unfortunate for him. Headshot, 95% chance. That's one dead ghoul. 52 points of damage to the head. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I do say so. We'll let Ian finish that one off. 94% chance to head on that one. 23 points of damage. He survived it, but not very well, I would imagine. Ian still hasn't managed to kill that other ghoul. Ian, you are a useless cunt. I think it's just a simple torso shot out to get the job done. Yeah, that did it. This gun hits like a hammer. And that's another ghoul down there. Ian, fend for yourself. You disappoint me so. 75% chance to hit the head. I think we might be able to hit that. Pretty sure that worked. But the rest of these ghouls seem to be chilling, so I think we'll be alright. Alright, last round in the magazine. 75% chance. 
I hit him, but I didn't kill him. And Ian finally decided to get off his ass and start being useful. Thanks for that, Ian. You're a real pal. Shoot him in the groin, see what happens. Eh, not bad. Now, do these ghouls have anything on them that I should be concerned about? So that's probably a bad case of the rabies. No. For destroying your enemies without taking a scratch, you earn 360 experience points. Yes, they could not do so much as hurt me because of all that. Combat armor is where it is at. Absolutely. Now, obviously, most of Necropolis is underground, but there might be something in here that we can look at. I don't want to kill all these guys. It's kind of a waste of ammo. Okay, so what I was expecting to see, I am not... But that's okay, because we can just go right down the manhole cover. Okay, guys, I need you to get out of the way. I need to be able to click on the man. There we go. Perfect. Let's see, we've got rats of unusual size. We've got, what else we got in here? I do like that's how they highlight all the bad stuff. Ah, just the rats. So let's deal with them first. Now, dark conditions, probably best to let them get kind of close. Not worry too much about it. Torso shot could be more than enough for these guys. But I do want to get away from uh, Ian when he starts shooting, because, well, it's Ian. And I really don't want to get shot in the back. It's one of those things I think would be a little bit annoying. There you go, Ian. That's a good man. Oh, this is going to be a low percentage chance, but let's try it before we get any closer. I hit him. Alright, another one bites the dust. Ooh, I missed that shot. Ah, Ian, you are such a disappointment. There. And I got 480 experience points for that. I actually got more for the greater mole rats than I did for the ghouls. And I think the ghouls were probably a greater threat just due to their numbers. Now then. Where is it that we want to go up here? These tunnels are fairly extensive. So that's not going to do me any good. Oh, I'm trying to remember where I'd go in here. Might be this other ladder over here that leads up. I know one of these ladders takes you up into, like, the city proper. So. No, that wasn't it. Yeah, to be this one over here then. Unless I'm just absolutely misremembering. Which I suppose is possible, but. Come on. There we go. You have to click directly on the ladder. It is a little bit frustrating. 
No, that just leads me back into these guys. Oh, what the hell? All right, let's go inside. Maybe we'll get lucky in there. I know there's a way down into the ghoul underground area. Seems to be a large amount of foot traffic in the area, possibly leading to the manhole cover. Yes. Oh, we kind of figured that part already. Thank you. Question is, which manhole cover am I missing? There's one there that... There's that one right there. Right there. This one I just came out of, so that accounts for all the manhole covers. Ah, bugger. Alright. The big problem is, is that there was a ghoul that I was supposed to talk to that would tell me how to get to the next vault that would actually have the water chip that I need. Unfortunately. Well, aren't you feeling brave today? That was your mistake. I want you to know that. All right, way to go, Ian. Finally making yourself useful and killing something. Alright, he's now using a better weapon, because he finally ran out of ammo for that 10 10 mm machine gun. He's now using the 14 mm pistol that I gave him, so we should do okay here. Yep, even undead zombie radiation monsters are still susceptible to shots to the dick. There we go. No point in looting the ghouls. And another 300 experience, so we're making a little bit of progress here. Now, if I remember correctly, the ghoul's uh, vault. Not this way. Right, where's... Come on, run on down this way, please. Desert. Oh, I could have sworn it was down around here somewhere. Oh, that might be it right there. City. Oh, no, this is just another bombed out city. I think we did this before, but I got killed. Oh, let's wait for 12 hours. Yep. Yeah, just a bombed out cityscape of, with absolutely nothing of value. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Um, if you get to Necropolis in January, which is what I should have done, you can actually talk to a ghoul that needs your help fixing things up, and then he'll tell you where the vault is. However, if you don't get there by January, super mutants come through, raid the entire area, and go drag everybody off. So, we're kind of shit out of luck on that one, unfortunately. Not much we can do about it. So instead, let's go visit the Brotherhood. Which is actually a lot closer than you would think. 
Because this area right here is the hub. Got here. Peasant herding several Brahmin. Hello, peasant. Do you speak? Are you afraid of my gun? Nope, you literally just have nothing of value to say, and I don't feel like wasting a bullet on you, so guess what? You get to live. Anyway, let's continue on to the Brotherhood. Like I said, the hub is this area right here. The Brotherhood is just to the northwest of that. I shouldn't say just to that, but pretty darn close. So look at some wrecked cars in the middle of a wasteland. A used car salesman. Hi, I'm Bob. This is random. Hi, welcome to my previously owned car lot. Which of these beauties interests you today? You must be joking. These cars are all wrecks. But sir, they're the finest examples of motor vehicles. They can't be in working condition. These cars have been given a full 100-point service by our dedicated service department. And where is your service department? Right over there, sir. The dealer points to nothing. You're crazy. I'm insulted. I don't have to take that from a customer. Have a good day. Yeah, he's crazier than a shithouse rat. But, a little bit of sneak. And a little bit of lockpick. And he might still be useful for something. Anything in here of value, maybe? Not in there. Nope, he's just a loony little, little nut. You know, I'm a nice guy there, loony little Bob, so I suppose I will continue to let you live. Now, you can get random encounters like that all throughout the wasteland. That is the first time I've ever encountered that particular one, because I think I would have remembered him from my last playthrough. And I don't remember seeing any walkthroughs over the years that have ever mentioned him, so that might be a new one for me. Ah, the Brotherhood. Back before they became a fraternal order of dickbags. You see a, a small building surrounded by chain link fences to the north. Menacing guards and heavy armor patrol the area. Let's put our gun away so we don't appear threatening to the gentleman with the power armor and the miniguns. Paladin. Greetings and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. You know where I can find a water chip? No, I've never heard of one of those. One of our head scribes may know. Maybe you can ask one of them. That is if you join us. Join? How do I join? You'll need to speak with Cabot about that. What is the Brotherhood of Steel all about, anyway? The Brotherhood is a collecti collective of men and women who have dedicated their lives to the preservation of technology. What type of armor is that that you're wearing? This is Powered Combat Infantry Armor Model T-51B, or more commonly known as Powered Armor. I've been wandering the waste for weeks, for weeks now. It should be for weeks and weeks now. And I've never seen armor like this before. The Brotherhood are the sole bearers of the power armor in the Waste. Only the honored and knights of the highest stature are given privilege to wear the ultimate armor. That still doesn't answer why I've never seen it before. Um, why can I die click on that? Eh. How does one join the Brotherhood? You'll need to speak with Cabot about that. Okay, thanks, bye. But which one of you is Cabot? There's Hello, Cabot. Hello, welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? That's I'd great. like to join. Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. Did you have to do a quest before you joined? Uh, not exactly, but um, things are a bit different right now. All right, so what's the quest? You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order that's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. How will you know if it's from inside this place? This place is high-tech. There's things inside like you've never seen before. Oh, uh, it's also radioactive. 
You'll do it? You will? Great. Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. So, the Brotherhood of Steel, an order that in the centuries to come will become more and more xenophobic, more and more uh, technology-based bad guys, and will eventually go from being allies of the burgeoning NCR to their staunchest enemies, are sending me on a suicide mission, specifically because it'll get me out of the way. Nice folks, aren't they? Anyway, the glow is actually across the California border and into Mexico, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong about that, but distances involved. We find several rats scavenging around in here. I don't think we need to bother with the rats. Well, the rats seem to disagree. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to waste my bullets on the rats. Oh, I got rid of the spear, didn't I? Oh, well. I guess a few, a little bit of target practice couldn't hurt. Yeah, 25 experience, not worth it in the least. Let's reload real quick before we get going. All right, back on towards the glow. Way down there. Ah, oh, the glow. I think this isn't across the Mexico border. The hell happened here? Uh, that would be massive nuclear bombs. And here we have bones of a large two-headed cow. And then we have this guy up here. I, don't, I should be able to search him. Now, come on. Give me a little bit of room to work with here. You see a dead loser. Oh, he doesn't have any gear on him. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not the first person that the Brotherhood has sent out here, and none of them have survived the attempt. For a wide variety of reasons, mostly due to the radiation. It's a little messed up they just call them losers, though. These guys tried. The Brotherhood said, hey, here's a suicide mission. If you do it, you can join probably one of the nicest places to live in the wasteland. So of course they said yes. I've received a large dose of radiation. Well, that's cute. Right, now, how do I get down into the hole? There is an entrance around here somewhere. Do I still have any rope on me? Crap, I don't have any rope. I need some rope. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to call it apart here. I've received three large doses of radiation. How are we doing? I am radiated. Character is suffering from a significant amount of radiation poisoning. The more radiation damage, the more deadly the effect. Uh, this is not actually causing me any damage yet. But still, wouldn't be worth messing with too much. So, we are actually going to call it apart here. I need to go get some rope and some anti-radiation medicine before we go down into the hole. I am the Warboss Squee, and I'll see you next time. Peace.